up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. What the hell? What's the deal with those Yelgoons? I don't know. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated one of our girlfriends. Yes, the gym leader of the water-type gym. Mm, 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 mm. Completely forgot her name. But yes, we defeated her. And now, we got ourselves our second badge right here. Look at that. Two badges in a circular motion. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, album right here. So we got Rose. And we got Nessa. Wow! <laughs> she is very flexible. She is very, very flexible. My god. Anywho, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and, and flip this card over right here. Her father is a fisher. Her mother works in the marketplace. Perhaps because of her parents, she grew up playing with water-type Pokemon and eventually made it all the way to being a gym leader. She met Sonya during their gym challenge, and they continued to be close friends. Nessa often gives Sonya fresh seafood from Holberry. She has uh, de declared that Milo of the Turfield, uh, or Turfield is uh, her rival, but Milo responded by saying that that his rival is himself. Wow, that's a uh, that's a jerk move, man. She ain't my rival. She's a future wife. My future wife. That's what she is. And we're looking at this one right here. Let's flip this card right here. Mr. Rose is is in fact a talented trainer, coming in second place for the past uh, Champion Cup. As the chairman of the Pokemon League and as president of the large business conglomerate, he is uh, truly a hero to the Galar region working tirelessly to ensure in prosperity. It's prosperity, I should say. His thoughts and words don't always match, and thus many say it's hard to tell wh what he's talking about. In fact, it is said that uh, it is said that only his secrecy can tell what he, he his true intent is. Note, the above text was submitted by his secretary. Oh, wow. Oh, you mean scary sexy. Holy crud. Okay. Anywho... Let's move on right here. Now, I did say in the last episode that I was going to go grind a little, but you know what? I realized that we're going to be like uh, two episodes ahead. I might as well go into the next town and then start doing a capturing of all these Pokemon that I can actually find right here. So let's go right ahead and go to the Galar Mine number two because that's where the next gym leader will be. And, well, let's see. Here we are, Galar Mine number two. In this place right here, you're going to be able to find lots of very good Pokemon, like Scrafty right here. And this guy's just going to keep on running after you, so, uh, yeah, try not to let that happen. And, whoa. Yeah, this is where I caught that Pokemon right there. Look at this. This guy is, like, literally running after me. But, like I said, guys, I will be capturing some of these Pokemon off screen, so don't worry about that. And would you look at this bead? Oh, crud. You again. Oh, jeez. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part of battle against lower level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with the weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush the weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally, yeah. <laughs> It's utterly unconceiv uh, unconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. Here we go, going up against Pokemon Trainer Bead. This cocky little asshole. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. I do. Guys, please tell me. Is this a guy or a girl? I want to know. So here we go, going with Big Booty Balto. Let's go right ahead and go with the bite attack since, you know, Solosis is a psychic type Pokemon. So here we go. Look at that lightning bolt on its tail. Man, this Pokemon is awesome! Okay, so... <laughs> looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. Dude, I beat you the last episode. I, I beat you the last time, so come on. So, this guy's about to come out with Gothita. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Shadow Blade right here. And, uh, well... Remember, it can evolve into Shadow Chicken. That's right, Shadow Chicken is the most devastating Pokemon ever, and... Well, Gothita looking like, uh, you know, Gothita right here. Let's go with the Power Trip attack right here, and... Uh, let's go, Power Trip. And that wasn't enough, holy crud, so... Yeah, I'm only assuming that Shadow Blade right here is not much of a special attacker, so we're gonna... We're gonna go with the uh, Plug Attack and see if we can actually do this. So here we go, Plug Attack. There we go, and Gothita's weakened up, and here comes a Psy Shock attack. Oh, jeez. 
And that hit me pretty hard right there. So let's go right ahead and use another pluck attack. Let's get it. There we go. Gothita defeated. Seriously, guys. Guy or girl? Want to know. Wearing pink. Kind of looks like a girl. Probably is a guy. I do not know. So here we go. More levels for our Pokemon right here. And, well, he's about to come out with a Hatina. So let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go with Drago right here. Now, it's been a while since I've used Drago. It is a very, very difficult Pokemon to level up. But no worries. This Pokemon right here, pretty awesome. It will evolve into something that's pretty awesome too later on. Like later, later, later on. So let's go with a headbutt right here. Very let's be very physical to these psychic type Pokemon. Look at this. Hatina. It's not a it's not every day I get I bet I get to battle you. Did not read that correctly. Alrighty, so here we go, psychic attack. Or Psybeam attack. That was uh that was pretty harsh right there. So I guess we're gonna have to go with the Dragon Tail right here. And balls! Yeah, Drago is not... Yeah, he's not putting up a good fight right now. He is not showing something. And here we go, Dragon Tail. And that will automatically switch up the Pokemon right here. And look at that, Galarian Ponyta has been dragged out. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Let's go, Michelangelo. Let's see what happens right here. Michelangelo. There we go. Michelangelo. And here comes the fairy wing or fairy wind. And well, let's see. Let's go bite attack. Let's make sure this Pokemon just uh, you know goes to sleep real quickly. And Ponyta nearly gets defeated right there. So here comes a confusion attack. And that right there. Well, it, yeah, it takes quite a few HP. So here we go again. Bite attack. Let's get this for the win. Say goodbye to Ponyta. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And there we go. Krakatoa grows a level 25. Not bad. And here she's coming out with a Katina. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go back to Balto. Yeah. So yeah, I'm starting to see that Drago is going to be a little hard to, like, a little harder to actually train up because it doesn't have the proper moves right now. So here we go. Not everybody's in this corner or put me in a corner like this. Except for me, right? So here it is, Hatina. And here comes its anticipation. So here we go. Let's get this. Bite attack. And the bite attack it is. I do love the way how Balto's tail just turns into a lightning beam or a lightning bolt right there. And there it is. Bam. Okay, so we defeated Bead again. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Come on, man. Just admit that you suck, man. <laughs> oh, man. This this guy... This guy... I don't even know what this guy is. Ah, oh, pardon me. It seems that I would take back my words. You're not weak. You're just a lack of talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim. I, mu I must say, here, I'll give you this. Something that to show you at least that you at least tried. Dude, I swear to God. You're, you're an asshole. You really are. Okay. Lead card and everything. Now, where shall I go to collect the next, the next, collect wishing stars? I do not know. I do not know. I really don't care about you. Okay, so let's see. You know what? Maybe, maybe this guy's trainer's card uh, will actually, will actually help. So here it is, Bead. And let's flip the card over. Bead spent time living in an orphanage after his family. Oh, it's a he! It's a he! Holy crap! Okay. So, Orphanage, after his family ran into some trouble when he was young, he always had difficulty getting along with others and would constantly get into fights. Yeah, well, I was about to throw hands with this guy. That is until one day Chairman Rose visited the facility. Rose gave Bede a Pokemon which changed Bede's life forever. He showed talent as a trainer and threw himself into the Pokemon battles, becoming stronger by the day. He has joined the gym challenge with an endorsement from the Chairman himself. And B plans to prove the chairman's faith was not misplaced. So it's a he. Okay, it's a he. Again. Sorry about that. Misgendering. I don't really care. Okay, so there it is. It's a he. We've discovered the mystery of uh, the gender of uh, Bead. And no, I do not want to go there yet. No, not right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Because uh, why not? Let's see. Drago, we, we, we have got to do a lot more with you because... 
Yeah, you are a very cool Pokemon to actually have, dude. You know, you're a very good Pokemon. It's just, holy crud, man. So there it is, Michelangelo. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and swap out Big Booty Boto with Drago. And you know what? I think I have the item for this Pokemon right here. Hold on just a sec. I do have the item for this particular Pokemon right here. So let's see. Treasures, uh, Star Piece. No, this is not the one. Other items. Okay, so we did get ourselves a Shell Bell right here. So let's go ahead and give that to Drago since it does get a lot of damage now. And, well, let's move on ahead. And would you look at that? There is a Pokemon there that, you know, yeah, it ran away. But I will capture eventually. So let us move on right here. This guy is trying to find us. And as you can see, guys, there is a Pokeball figure right there. If you step on that, it will be a Pokemon. Look at this. Look at that. Like a bear trap. And it gets us. Look at this guy. It is Galarian Stunfish. And it's shaped as a... Uh, it is actually shaped as a... Uh, a uh, What was it? A, a bear trap right here. So, let's see what this does. Yes, it is a ground-type Pokemon as well, I think. No, it's a steel-type Pokemon. And this guy is coming out for revenge right here. So, let's see what it does. Takes a lot out of my Pokemon's attack. Holy crud. Okay, so... Jeez. Yeah, this Pokemon is packing a wall up right here. So let's go. Headbutt attack. Not good enough. Holy crud, man. We're gonna... Yeah, we need to train our Pokemon. So let's go ahead and run away. We're gonna run away. We will see you again, Galarian Stunfist. Holy crud, man. We need to train our Pokemon. We really do. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Drago needs some leveling up. Everybody needs some leveling up right here. So what a better way to do that than to battle some miners right here. So here it is. My Pokemon is bursting with energy. What I mean to say is please battle me. Okay. So here we go. Worker Francis would like to battle, and he's coming out with a Carcoal. I know you. I have one of you. And here we have Drago. Let's go right ahead and just try to win. So here we go. Bulldoze attack does its thing. And it is both a rock and fire type Pokemon. So this is perfect for us right here. And luckily for us, we got a Shell Bell that can heal our Pokemon. And here comes its ancient power attack. And wow. It actually looks like fossils right there. So let's go with the full uh, Bulldoze attack again. Okay. Look at that. Carcoal has been defeated. Kind of reminded me of my own Pokemon right here. And there we go. Shell Bell. Big Booty Balto grows to level 26. And, well, Worker Francis has been defeated. A loss is a loss. My Pokemon lost its energy, too. It has. It really has. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Holy crud. We got ourselves three Dust Balls right here. And a lot of water, which you will be able to find some Pokemon. And look at that, another Stunkfish. So just try and get out of the way right there, guys. They are there as bear traps and whatnot. And, well, let's see. There is a fishing hole, and you'll be able to get to that Pokemon a bit later when you, you modified your, uh, you modified your, uh, whatchamacallit, your bike right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I do believe this guy is going to be coming out with any kind of, like, steel Pokemon or whatever. So here we go. When I'm tired at work, or when I'm tired of work, uh, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I built up. Okay, she is, she is a strong one. Look at her. She is strong. So here we go. Worker Yvonne wants to battle us, and she is coming out with her Rog and Rolla. Yeah, pick the wrong type of Pokemon right here. Holy crud. Okay. Yeah, don't have the right moves. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Michelangelo right here. Alrighty, Michelangelo, do your thing, right here. Where, what are you doing, a smackdown, lay the smackdown on me? Uh, 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 not gonna work right here, so let's go right ahead and use a water gun attack, just to, you know, even out the odds right here, look at that, and Rog and Roller doesn't have sturdy, so do, man, this, this place is unpredictable right now, and here she's gonna be coming out with a timber, so Let's go ahead and switch out Shadow Blade right here. Okay. Alrighty. And Timber. 
I think I caught one of those guys off screen too. Could be wrong though. So here we go. Could be wrong though. So here we go. Pluck attack. Let's get this. Pluck attack does the thing. Timber has been defeated. And that is another put another one bites the dust right there. And Shadow Blade grows to level 26. Yes, my team is doing some some crazy stuff right here. Alrighty. So let's move on right here and see if we can actually... Yeah, we're going to grab another item right here, which is a Grip Claw. An item held by a Pokemon. It extends the duration of multi-turn attacks such as Bind and Wrap. What about Fury Attack? That could be it too. And there is a... There is a Galarian Stunk Dust or Stunk Fist and all that stuff. And well, we got Team Yell looking at us right now. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see what happens now. Oh, wow. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them talking party in the, taking part in the gym challenge, right? Yeah. Crikey. But that's really something. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Oh, please. Oh, wow. Seriously? <sighs> oh, man. This guy's taking the spotlight away from everything. Well, look at you, Draven. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up uh, Lee pretty soon. Oi, jug on, mate. You can't... Uh, can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, he doesn't really seem to get it or anything. Yeah? And can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer, who will be, who will be your next champion? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This guy's all cocky and everything. Ooh, so you got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And think uh, and and I think I'll battle with you uh, or with you lot with you lot would uh, definitely end with some laughs. Can't talk. I, you British are weird. <laughs> let's let's take them on together, Draven. You ready, mate? Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? I am ready. Okay, so the two of us, endorsed by the champion himself, will show you just what this means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell is gonna teach you kids. Teach you kids that uh, the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be ye be yellow. Oh wow, what this other kid have to, uh, come, have to come wasting up for? Hey, eh? I just wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. Oh wow. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're taking on a team yell again, and yes, uh, yeah, this guy here is uh, with us. Oh crud. Okay, so Lanoon and Thievul are right here, and here we have Optimus Prime and uh, Wooloo and all that crud. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. All right, time to show this kid how it's done. So let's go with the Razor Leaf attack, and here comes a Night Slash, and they're going to be aiming it at me because, well, obviously I'm the stronger of the two. And, well, that was a critical hit, so here we go. Razor Leaf attack, and that nearly makes both these Pokemon faint, and here comes a Snarl. Hitting the both of us right now, and that right there will lower my special attack. Oh, crud. So, Wooloo with a double kick. Wow. How's it feel? You know, I kind of softened him up for you. Wow. Okay, well, there's two, and here comes another, uh, well, more experience points for all of us right there. And here comes a Liper, ready to take its uh, its place right there. So let's go right again and use a Razor Leaf attack. And here comes the Fury Swipes. And of course, Liper has to be faster than me. It really has to. And here comes a Night Slash. Getting that Wooloo, and yeah. <laughs> here we go. Razor Leaf takes them both out. You see how that you know, you see how that's done? That's right. That's how that's done right there. Takes both of them out right there. Say goodbye to Lyperd. Okay, and a lot of our Pokemon grow a lot of experience, and Drago, of course, grows to level 30 or 27 right there. So does Michelangelo, and who's Wooloo going to be tackling, seriously? And here comes Pancham. Oh, damn. Wooloo, you are uh, you're in deep, deep trouble right here. So here we go with the Branch Poke, and Pancham... Well, survives it, and there's a tackle attack, and Panchup, of course, gonna go for the low sweep. On to me, really? <laughs> and, of course, we lose our speed just a little bit, so here we go, another Razor Leaf attack. Hopefully, yes, we get the hit first, and there goes Pancham. Alrighty. 
again. How are you going to be the next champion if I'm taking care of everybody right here? I, I, I just don't get it. So there it is. We defeated both Team Yell uh, Grunt right here. And these guys are just like, wow. <laughs> no chance of winning right there. Okay. So that little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess what? Uh, get that's what uh, you get for when your older brother's uh, not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we, we'll leave quietly once again, or once we're beaten. Yeah, okay, so I can't really talk in their language, so it, it's going to be a little hard for me to just, like, talk. Nice one, Draven. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Flipping you off, homeboy. Yeah. I... Oh, wow. I really, 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 really think that, you know... Hop is, like, taking the cake for most annoying rival slash BFF ever. Really, guys. He's starting to get on my nerves. So, uh, let's see. We got another trainer right here. So, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Now, the only useful thing that, you know, Hop has done is actually heal our Pokemon. So, that's, that's, that's pretty nice right there. Now, let's see what this guy has to say. Steam Power can send my any, any opponent flying. Alrighty, so here we go. Rail Staff. Vincent wants the battle, and he is coming out with his drill burn now. I probably should have stayed with uh, probably should have stayed with uh, Optimus Prime right there. So let's go ahead and well, go with the headbutt right here. Alrighty, headbutt takes a lot of damage. Here comes its home claws, and we both know that drill burn is a very very strong Pokemon. It's gonna be quite difficult to beat if it keeps on powering up right there so here we go again a headbutt attack and nearly makes this Pokemon faint so here comes a dig attack right here so we won't be able to hit this guy in the next turn so let's go right ahead I don't think Bulldoze can, can be able to hit this guy hold on it should it's kinda like Earthquake eh, never mind okay so there we go we get hit we should have probably powered up with the work up attack so let's go again with the headbutt just to win this. And there goes Drillbur. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. My Pokemon growing. Getting healed. Krakatoa growing levels. And here's about to come out with an Onyx. So let's go right ahead and go with Optimus Prime right here. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, you know, flex our muscles just a tad bit right here. Look at this. Onyx looking all mean and everything. But guess what? Here comes a Razor Leaf attack. Now, I do believe that I can capture uh, an Onyx over at the wild location. The wild area. So, who knows? We might be able to do that a little bit later on. And, well, there it is. We defeated Rail Staff Vincent. What incredible power. Guess I was the one sent flying. You were. You pretty much were. So... Alright, so that's that, and I see a Pokemon that, you know, we want to capture, but he's going to be a little hard to, to actually capture just because it likes to run away a lot. Now, here we have the TM-49 Sand Tomb. Pretty good move. It actually, you know, it's one of those uh, long-lasting moves that you can actually get, and whoa. I actually thought that was a Pokeball. <laughs> Do not step on these things, and I think that's towards the exit, so let's go right ahead and go this uh, this side right here and there I yeah there's an item right there look at that a bag of sa soft sand and we're gonna get the heck away from there and well again you can find some Pokemon in here guys eventually off screen I will be capturing some of these Pokemon so do not worry I know there should be Pokemon right there that you know I should be capturing right now and well let's see I probably should be switching my my attack or my Pokemon right here. So let's see. You know what? Optimus. I have a feeling it might be evolving pretty soon. If it's like any of the grass types, then it might be evolving pretty soon. And here is Hop. And would you look at that? Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of Carcol's uh, hard work. We weren't getting in his way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us uh, in that with that Pokemon battle. So, it's time for Team Yell to Scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Seriously, guys, what is Team Yell? Like, are they the bad guys or are they just like cheerleaders? I just want to know. Cheering is one thing, but one 
one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore! Okay, so that's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's a fire-type gym leader. Ah, you, you're the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Draven, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you in gym challengers. I specialize in fire-type uh, Pokemon and the water-type Pokemon in the Galar Mine. Number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight. Uh, just go straight. Once you get out of the mine, you'll reach Moto Stoke. Get a good rest in the hotel and make sure both of you, you're both in top condition. Come on, Carcole. Time for you uh, to head on home too. I'll make sure you get the get there safely. Gore. We're going to the next fire. Uh, we're going to be on fire tomorrow. Okay. All right. And well. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym uh, gym challengers give up because they they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm just getting all fired up too. Man, this guy, yeah, he's uh, he's full of salt, like he's full of piss and vinegar. I don't know about him. I, I just I, I just really don't. Yeah, he's he's kind of annoying sometimes, I guess. Okay, so let's see that car quote from before. I guess it must have uh, been here on a job. You do know about Poke Jobs by now, right? Yeah, I do. Of course you do. Now I'm cream. Cra I'm cream cat crackled. Crackered. I'm cream crackered. What the hell? I'm cream crackered. I I'm sorry, guys. The dialect here is just like a little. <laughs> it's just a little weird. I'm for the boo uh, Badoo drop in and uh, some sleep. Come tomorrow that uh, come tomorrow that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'm coming. I'll be coming for him. Okay, so that is that right there. So we're not gonna be stopping here, guys. This right here is the Moto Stoke outskirts, and right here you'll be able to find some pretty rare Pokemon as well. And look at this, we found ourselves the Amulet Coin. Which we will be using because that actually boosts up our revenue just a tad bit. So, let's see. Actually, hold on. Battle items, treasures, TMs, ah, other items. Okay, so there it is. We found the amulet coin and we will be giving that to... Eh, let's go with Michelangelo for right now because we will be using him in, a, in the next gym battle right here. And, well, let's see. There's a coughing, there's a Noctowl, there's Pseudo Wudo, uh, there's a Pokemon Trainer, and I think that you can actually find some other Pokemon right here too. Uh, yeah, H Hattini right here. And we're grabbing this, three Great Balls, and I think that's pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and battle this, this trainer right here. And, well, let's see. Uh, you know what? We're gonna keep Optimus right here. So let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon or Pokemon trainer right here. So here she is, young Pokemon trainer. Won't you honor me with the battle? Sure. Let's go right ahead and battle this trainer. Her name is Madam Caroline, looking like a madam herself, and she does have herself a big booty ball toe yamper. Let's go right ahead with Optimus Prime right here, and well, let's go Razor Leaf to finish this guy off. Yeah. Look at that, Yamper. Not looking so good right now, huh? No. No, sir, Rebob. And, well, Big Booty Ball to ourselves has grown to level 27, so that's pretty awesome right there. And, well, she's about to come out with a Swoobat, so let's go right ahead and give her a taste of Big Booty Ball to her himself. Alrighty, Swoobat, you don't have... Or you, you got no idea what's coming. It's our good old buddy. Good old buddy right here, Big Booty Ball to, And Swoobat looking like, you know... Looks mean and everything. So here we go. Spark attack. And just like that, Swoobat has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So my Pokemon are just... They're on fire. They are on fire. And I am loving it. Loving every single little thing about it. So let's see. There is an item right there. So let's go ahead and grab that. We found, we found ourselves a PP up, which will actually increase the... Power points to our attacks right there, and well, I think that's pretty much it right here. Let's see what this thing says. So, Gallarmine number two is in the east, northeast, yes, and Motostoke is to the west. Okay, so 
believe, uh, oh wow, there is a cop right there. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper. What? Oh, Lord. What? Okay, so I don't know what you just said. He's just gonna come out with the Growlithe. Yeah, let's let, let's just let's just do this. Yeah. Okay. So the British dialect, I really don't get, and I'm not trying to offend anybody right here. But good God, I don't know which one's proper English. Is it our English or your guys' English? I don't know. It's kind of like Spanish. Whose English is proper? The the Central Americas or the 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 European Spanish? I just want to know. I don't know. I really don't know. So here we go. Double hit. Comment down below, guys. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting confused. I really am. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Another guy down. And, well, look at that. Shadow Blade is growing levels, too. And Officer Raymond has been defeated. He's just happy. Happy as can be right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go straight for Drago again. And, let's see. Let's go with, uh, oh yeah, we do have super potions now, a lot of them, so shouldn't be a problem now. And, well, let's go right here, and here we are going through another bridge. Wait a minute, is Motostoke the one that we just, that we entered? Wow. Mind blown. Mind blown, because I kind of feel like it is. It is. Motostoke, you bastards. Okay, so we were, yeah, rem Remember this, guys. Remember that area right there, because that is going to be an area where there's going to be a lot of training. There's going to be a lot of Pokemon being captured. It's just a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing in that particular area once we get leveled up and everything. And here we are, guys, back in Motostoke. Holy crap. We could have just flown here. And, well, yeah, we've already visited this place, so it looks like to me that we're going to be going through the gym battle first. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to have to go right there. And what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to be going to the uh, Pokemon Center right here, close by. And I do believe this is where we're going to stop our adventure. So, what's up, guys? How's it, do how's it going? Now, let's see. Not this guy, but I do believe this guy right here does sell some TMs. And, well... We got round, which is a pretty good attack. The user attacks the target with a song. Others can join in round to increase the power of its, of its attack. And that's pretty cool. And then we got some other protective stuff right here. So we will be getting some more, you know, money for that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, guys, we're going to stop right here. In the next episode, I, I guess we're going to be going for our third badge. Now, I did say that, yeah, I was going to be... Yeah, I was going to be training up my Pokemon just a little bit, but it looks like to me that I'm going to battle one more gym leader, and then after that, I'm going to be training the hell out of every single one of my Pokemon. Uh, again, like I said, uh, there is a good reason to why this game is going to be lasting a little bit longer, because as you can see, we do have Pokemon jobs, and this takes some time to actually train your Pokemon. The more, you, the more gym battles you win, the more jobs you get. And then after that, the more jobs you get, the more value of uh, experience points that you get right here too. Meaning, a lot of the training that you, you should be doing with it goes out the window. It goes just straight to the pokey jobs right there. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode when we battle the third gym leader, which is, I believe, Kabu. Yeah, it's Kabu. Thank you guys again. See you guys next time.